Hello everyone, my name is Sung Ju Lee from the Catholic University of Korea. Nowadays, we have entered an aging society. Naturally, we became interested in sex and sexually transmitted infection of the elderly. My article is about the sexual behavior and the prevalence of sexually transmitted infection of the Korean elderly. And the study was supported by the Foundation for Korean Urological Association and Astella's Korea Company in 2015. The title of my article is Sexual Behavior and Sexually Transmitted Infection in the Elderly Population of South Korea. I have two questions. The first one is, are sexually transmitted infections of the elderly actually increasing? The second question, is there a risk group of geriatric sexually transmitted infections? Sexual problem is considered as a top subject in many Asian countries, including South Korea. As a result, sexual activity in the elderly tends to take place in the shade. In the absence of a spouse, which is common in the elderly, many may resort to prostitution to fulfill their sexual needs. And recently, this has been a social issue in the form of Bacchus ladies in South Korea. Bacchus ladies is a term for poor elderly women selling sex to elderly men for a living. Generally, at urban public parks where elderly congregate. This naturally raises concerns for sexually transmitted infections and diseases in the elderly populations in Korea. I have two studies in this article. The first one is survey and test congregating places for elderly population were selected and visited by our researchers to study their sexual behavior, awareness of STDs, and sexually transmitted urethritis status. The second, we analyzed the insurance data, the health insurance review and assessment service database was done to study the nationwide status and trends of STDs sexually transmitted urethritis of the elderly population. This is one of the survey results. This table describes the types of sexual partners. In the low risk group, over 90% were spouse and only 1% were prostitute. In the high risk group, 70% was spouse and 7% was prostitute, showing the significantly higher percentage of prostitution in the higher risk group. This table describes the urine PCR results of the elderly who completed the survey. There is, was only one case of chlamydia trachmatis in the low risk group and only one case of mycoplasma xenitalium in the higher risk group. You can see no difference between two groups in the result of urine PCR. This figure shows the trend of Neisseria gonorrhea and chlamydia trachmatis infection in population over 65 years of age between 2010 and 2016 from the Health Insurance Review and Assessment Service database in Korea. You can see some trends of the sexually transmitted infection of, in, uh, of the Korea. Completing of this study, I can summarize both of the urine PCR study and analysis of HERA database showed that the prevalence of STI in the elderly population of Korea was very low, implying that currently STI is not a significant public health issue in South Korea. However, several sexual 
health behaviors found in this current study, such as very low rate of condom use and multiple sexual partners and prostitution, together with rapid population aging, call for a continued monitoring of sexually transmitted infections in the elderly population. Thank you for your attention.